All right, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the MX Master 3 versus the MX Master 3S. And I'll tell you a difference. Okay, so what's interesting is I've seen the MX Master 3S advertised for quite a while. And I've seen the MX Master 3, and I've had the MX Master 3 for quite a while. I'm not sure how long, maybe three, four years or something like that. And to be honest, I thought these were the same. I didn't think there was any difference. I didn't see any point in updating. If you look at them, they look identical. Obviously, there's a different color, color scheme, but they look basically the same. For some reason, I chose to buy the new MX Master 3S for Christmas. It's a little gift for myself, you know. Obviously, I do a lot of design work and, you know, these mice take a big pounding, you know, every day. So I just kind of thought it's always going to be kind of worth it for me. It's been a few years as well. So actually, one reason I would say actually for upgrading was if you look at this MX Master 3, so this one, the one I've had for quite a while, you see these kind of brown marks that have really kind of... I don't want to say ruined, but kind of ruined the appearance. I hope this doesn't happen on this one, but it's not just me. I'm not especially dirty. It's, I've seen this everywhere on the reviews, these kind of brown marks on the three. Um, I didn't actually look at any reviews for this, so it could actually have the same problem. Um, I haven't actually looked at any reviews. Now let's talk a little bit about the differences between these two. Um, there aren't many, but there are there is one which i think is somewhat significant kind of so listen to this yeah we can hear that click 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 all right so this is the original mx uh three and then this is the 3s and you can listen to this now i'm not sure how well that's been picked up uh, i have a live mic but essentially this is super clicky and in a way, it's not a bad thing. It's feedback, so it's kind of good to know that your clicks are being registered. You can hear that it's being registered. But it's not just the audible quality of the clicks. The clicks on the 3S feel nicer. I know how to re-explain. Really it just feels more... It feels more premium. <laughs> it just feels... It does this... The click, the click, the click here it does feel a bit more cheap. It's not super easy to communicate this, I'll be honest. And um, it's definitely definitely not a reason to upgrade. Um, but it is a difference. When it comes to scroll, the scroll wheel, there is a slight difference in smoothness from this versus this. Um, not much, not much, but there's a slight difference. And obviously the most obvious difference is the aesthetics, the looks. I definitely prefer this white one. I might be regretting it if it turns out to give all these brown marks uh, that the three has got over the time. I might regret it. But for now, I definitely prefer this. It feels nice. And, um, you know, when it comes to weight, it's the same. It's basically the same. Um, I don't know if it's the same in terms of the numbers, but the feeling is basically the same. Now, obviously, the MX Master 3. It's all about the software. Now, don't get me wrong, the ergonomics are amazing, the buttons are amazing, etc., etc., etc. But actually, the software and the programmable buttons is where it's at. And I'll make another video showing how you can really, really make good use of it um, as a designer. So, uh, that, that video is definitely to come. If you're interested, drop something in the comments for me. Um, but yeah, this is just an overview. I honestly, I think they're both great. You can't really go wrong. Just buy whichever one is in your budget. And the, um, this is the best mouse. There is no contest. You know, anybody who wants to talk, talk in the comments, argue yourself. This is the best mouse. Anyway, hopefully that was helpful. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Take a moment for you, but it means a lot to me. And I'll catch you in the next one.